Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 12 of Nobunaga's uh, inf- uh, ambition. Uh, so we will uh, need to uh, improve our uh, provisions position. So I, th- I believe that the uh, harvest occurs either at the end of August or September. So let's let uh, three or four months go by. And then we can go on an aggressive uh, conquering mode again. So without much further ado, let us end the turn. Uh, there's nothing, not much happening during the battle scenario because we're not uh, fighting anybody here. Uh, however, my plan is to take out this fortress, this fortress, and ultimately that castle. So, but it will take some. T- uh, that's why. That's why after we have built up enough provisions in this development phase, uh, Mio Namioka. Okay, where is that Mio Namioka? So that means that is one of our. Samurais that uh, might have a slow level of that has a has low level of loyalty, and therefore uh, he is. Uh, it's possible that Mio Namioka. Mio, let's check who he is or where he is. And okay, Mio Namioka. Well, he is yellow. So let us, uh, okay, let's go back and uh, let me check. This is Yoita Castle. Uh, and this is over here is Shibata. Okay, Shibata Castle. Uh, this is one way to check on the Lord. So by picking Pao, Pao Pei Hua, uh, press the X button and then the R1 button and we go to the traits in the traits you will see these are the specific abilities that uh, Pao Pei has so pressing the X button allows us to go down to f- look at what those traits are so she has the swindler uh, ability so that means subordinates loyalty increases when Daimyo or that person is a castle lord so we can move Mio uh, to this castle and then uh, hopefully who has been whispering nice or who's been trying to uh, recruit uh, Mio can be uh, moved uh, will we'll lose the ability or access to this guy so let's move him to Shibata from Sado okay and uh, you know not only him let's move all those guys that are not totally blue so that's one that's two three Mio is there four okay let's move them to Shibata that's where I that's what I mean by warehousing this guys and now we need okay let me go further into the development phase so in Sado Yoshida so when you uh, press X so you see that right now currently Nanny is Lee is the uh, overseer for it and if we want to develop crops development of crops will go up to 703 look when I change Nanny uh, Nanny Lee here as the overseer he has a hundred and three in terms of intelligence and a hundred and one in terms of politics their attributes can go up to a maximum of 120 and some of the high-end characters in this game historically uh, the historical names in this game have stats that will get up to 110 120 when you when we meet them and over time they can go up to 120 also so if we look at Nenny, so he is the current over uh, overseer now if we change it uh, Let's go back. So it's 703 in terms of crops if 
nanny is the overseer we change it to somebody else say somebody that is at 91 instead of 703 it drops to 698 so that is the it's critical later on when we get more samurais uh, that do not have that great a stat we have to constantly check the overseer that the computer picks for us is the optimal overseer and every time let's say whenever we develop crops on the right hand side it shows the harvest so it's 12 the next harvest will produce 12,268 crops food so by developing crops in sado it will increase it by the amount shown it's now going up to 12,448 not the increased amount that's that's a new amount of harvest that we can expect at the end of September I'm, I'm pretty sure it's end of September so that's a one fine tuning that we can do so we have moved uh, so here let us uh, okay let's also develop this let's develop food oh no no let's or we can go down to troops okay actually we need to develop food because uh, we are trying to build up food uh huh so that means for tocho we have totally let me see if we can we can uh, upgrade some of the stuff so that okay will tocho yeah tocho no that's yasuda uh let's see if we can upgrade tocho so that uh okay and uh let's build more canals and no no let's build this one let's say the rice dealer allows the population to increase faster so let's build a rice dealer but it will not increase the uh it will not increase okay maybe the canals what will canals do makes a district suitable for crops okay uh, right now Tocho has maxed out on crops development so by upgrading it into canals uh, hopefully so maximum agriculture will grow from 387 to 774 so that's good right now they're maxed out we cannot develop it further but uh, with this once the upgrade is done we can continue to develop uh, crops in that area of in tocho and what's the other guy uh, that's tocho uh, let's say kitaho let's develop crops okay and we still have one but maybe yoita okay let's develop troops okay and uh okay not much maybe we can spend some money in uh getting some of the tribes close to us to uh increase two maybe another one Th this guy's uh okay 62 okay now right now we're primarily concerned about building up uh, our cash and our uh, provisions let's see if we can buy if the prices on provisions is a little decent no <laughs> it's still a 20 what's a special item they have Ooh, six thousand no it's not worth buying at this time okay uh let us uh, end a turn uh zoom out hopefully and we can see if there's anybody that might threaten us battle phase we're not doing anything we're not attacking anybody nobody's attacking us that's good and maybe a couple more turns like this july august and september and uh tocho hopefully uh the improvement that we did will you grant him audience yes negotiation details could i ask that you form uh no refuse uh, we will be hitting them pretty soon and uh 24 month uh alliance is not to our benefit 
Okay. So th this month, so let's check on Tocho. Tocho, la see, last month it was fully uh, developed, and we could not develop uh, develop anymore. But with the additional, or with the upgrade in uh, that we just put in, or we did, now there's more uh, agricultural land that can be developed. So let's just work with these guys. Uh, Yoita. Okay, let's see again. Maybe we can again. But it takes a thousand gold to upgrade stuff. So let's go to Shibata. Shibata is a castle. So that's the one what we really want to improve. Oh, it has a fishery. So that's a special item. We, When they have that special item, normally we go for it. Makes a district adjacent suitable for props, crafts. Perfect. Let's do that. Uh, we have six. Okay, we can still develop this. Uh, crops. Okay. Nope. Crops. Yasuda. Crops. And uh, Sado. Uh, maxed out. Okay. Okay, and then let's let go. Let's go. Let let another turn go by. Or do we want to appease them some more? Uh, I will show you. Uh, we will appease them a little bit later. Uh, right now, let's go into the battle phase. Oh, you can control the speed of the battle, of the uh, at the upper left hand corner. Uh, you have a like a double that's an arrow pointing right you, and that can be uh, increased to a triple arrow so that's a much faster speed or a single arrow and it will be very slow so okay okay oh this is the harvest okay oh we got provisions uh, yeah so harvest gave us 14,000 now we can attack uh the other tribe but let's go through the development phase first let's check if there's anything interesting anything oh everything's too expensive we can't afford it okay and then let's see if we can um, upgrade one of our towns one of our fortresses uh, here let's say a rice dealer oh that's very good I love rice dealers. Includes in, improve our population base. Uh huh. Let's just uh, keep developing these guys. Max this guy out. Whoa. Okay. And then Shibata. Okay. Uh, this might be a good time to uh, cut this episode uh, because in the next episode we we have 20,000 in provisions so in the next episode we can set up our troops to take over this fortress it has a gold mine so yes I think I'll cut it at this point and if you like this episode please uh, let me know by clicking on the like button and also please join my hour uh, register in my channel so that uh, you can have easy access to all the content i'm i would put more into this channel uh, thank you for uh, joining me and uh, hope to see you again bye